Hello and welcome back to Penguin Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this gorgeous watercoloured card. I recently made this for a design team I was part of for um, Stampin' for All which is run by Amanda Charlesworth and I thought I'd show you how to make the card. It's really simple, I love it. Every card will be slightly different but I just think they're all equally gorgeous. So if you'd like to see how to make this please keep watching. So you're going to need four bits of cardstock in order to make this card. The first one being your base. Uh, and I'm using basic black cardstock and this measures four and one eighth of an inch by eleven and three quarters and then uh, score and burnish at five and seven eighths and we're going to make this a landscape card. The next thing you're going to need is your next layer which is, I've used the shimmery white cardstock, I don't know if that's picking it up, it's gorgeous, it's just, just got a little shimmer in it but it really does add to the card um, and that measures four inches by five and six eighths so that's our first layer. The next one is back to basic black and that is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. So we're just getting that nice little border. And then the last one which is the front of our card again is the shimmery white and that measures three and five eighths by five and three eighths. So we've got these narrow little borders and then the last one I've just got a bigger border. Okay, I just think it makes the card pop that bit more if I hold that up for you, you can see. So first thing we need to do is our embossing. Um, and the stamp set I'm going to be using today is the Big On Birthday stamp set, which is a photopolymer one. And I was trying to work out which one to use. I think I'm going to use this large Happy Birthday here with the flower on. Um, I think that'll be lovely. So, oh, excuse the noise. So I'm just going to use my grid paper to line up the happy birthday, hopefully my head isn't in the uh, picture. So that is stuck to there. We then, I forgot to get this my first mark and I'm using the champagne one. Um, I don't know why I've just suddenly for some reason bought a champagne when it adds a bit of dazzle but as we're going to be using black embossing it won't matter. So first thing you need is a bit of A4 paper folded in half, it can be scrap, whatever you fancy, it's just going to be what we use to do our um, embossing powder on. You then need to line up your cardstock with one of your boards, one of your things so it's easier to line up so you can follow the line. So I'm probably going to line my stamp up with the bottom of the actual card. Just looking at it, I think that's going to work best. So you need to grab your embossing buddy. Which I've got here. Um, okay, and all that does is it just removes any of the static so the embossing powder it only sticks to where we want it. Okay, so again as I've said I'm just going to line it up with the bottom of one of my lines, okay, and then I've got my stamp and my verse mark and all I'm going to do is make sure I have covered this stamp in the verse mark. I'm just going to go over it a couple of times just to make sure I haven't missed any bits. That should be enough, okay, get it the right way up and then all I'm going to do is line it up where I want it and push down hard and stamp it, okay? So as I've used the um, champagne one you can actually see the pattern which I actually find easier. Um, we're going to use some black embossing powder. This is contraband item so please don't look at the bottle. Um, but I'm just going to use some black powder on that and just tap away any excess. And if you've got any slight little bits, as it is black, just try and get rid of them. Okay, I'm just gonna do this with my heat tool then, so it will go a bit noisy, so get ready to turn your volume down if you need to. Let's 
hopefully you'll start to see it change. I don't know if you can see that, but it's changing to be glossy. I'm just going to go over the back because it's bent slightly, so this will just help it bend back. Okay. So that looks done. Okay. So we can put our powder away and by folding the bit of paper this just helps you get it all back in the pot and always screw the lid on. Okay. So we're now ready to do our watercolour background. So grab another bit of scrap paper, your freshly embossed uh, base. We're then going to need an aqua painter, um, which are these. So what they are is a brush full of water. So hopefully you can see it's just full of water. The end of this tip's dye, but it doesn't matter, but it is just full of water. Okay. The next thing we're going to need are our colours, and I've got seven today. We're going to be using Real Red, Peekaboo Peach, Daffodil Delight, Wild Wasabi, Tempting Turquoise, Knight of Navy, and Rich Razzleberry. Okay, so I'm going to start these and do a couple at a time. I might just zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to start with our Real Red and Peekaboo Peach. I'm going to do sort of two colours at a time. So what you need to do is just grab your ink pad and squish it down so you end up with some ink on the base. So again, peekaboo peach, just squish it and you end up with a bit of ink. Okay. So, I'm just going to show you on the red one and then I'll take it back out. So all you're going to do is mush in, squeeze a little bit of water in if you want and mush it around. Okay. And then you've got some on your um, pen and all you're going to do, hopefully you can see, is add a bit of colour okay we don't need to go too far um as again we've got to get these seven colours on so that is what i'm going to do and i'm just cleaning off my pen and then i'm going to go in with peekaboo peach and i'm just going to add that in okay so you can add more or less um colour whatever works for you Okay, so that's those two done. What I'm going to do is fold them up out of the way. So we're now on Daffodil Delight and Wild Wasabi. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe off my brush and I'm going to go in with Daffodil Delight and we're just going to add that in bit of water in it it's a little bit too thick okay and then just add in the color okay and then wild wasabi and as i say just keep going add them in you can use as many or as few colors as you wish um i've just found that these ones seem to work really well together okay so next is Tempting Turquoise. Oh, I've lost my lid. Uh, tempting Turquoise. And I think we'll do these last three together. So Tempting Turquoise, Knight of Navy, and Rich Razzleberry. Okay. So make sure your brush is clean. just add in the colour 
Okay. So you can be as neat or as messy as you want with this, it really is up to you how you want to do it. Okay, so we're done with these. So fascinating that you can wipe those off if you want, I just leave them and they dry fine inside there. So, as I want to get this card done now, we do need to dry it. So in order to dry it, I'm just going to use my heat tool um, and we're going to dry it. So, I'll get noisy again, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom, show you that. So there we go, we have our beautiful rainbow effect. So if I just zoom back out again. Okay, so we can move that aside now. Oh, I will just wipe off the rest of my aqua painter. As I say, the end dies, but it just goes. It's fine. So we now need to start putting this card together. So grab your bottom section. So I've got my basic black base and my next one in shimmery white um, grab your fast fuse and all I'm doing is simply going all the way around the edge and I always put some in the middle and then all you need to do is line it up with the edge I'm going to sit down and again base it black Okay. <clears throat> and the final layer, I think I'm going to do, we will stick it down actually, we will fast fuse it, all the way around the edge. Make sure you get right to the edge of this one as it will be slightly warped from the heat, um, but that's where the fast fuse will really help to stick it down. Okay. And then this one's got that slightly bigger gap. All we're going to do is just press it down. And there we go. So there is a beautiful card made using the watercolour effect. Um, you can add on some diamantes if you wish. I might put a couple on the flowers. So grab my rhinestones. Um, I'm going to go for the medium. I'm just going to stick that in the middle of these roses. And then the small one in the smallest one. There. Okay. And that, ladies, is how you make <coughs> a beautiful watercoloured card. Um, as usual all details will be on my blog which will be linked below which is www.penguincrafts.co.uk if you click on that link it'll tell you all the items you need to buy this um, and all the dimensions please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be back soon guys bye